several months ago I purchased this uh, used super micro server it, it has a perfect specs for my usage and especially it has the built-in uh, 12 base I wanted to uh, use it to uh, install another TrueNAS server I already have one and it runs perfectly so that I want to uh, have another one right so that's the main purpose I purchased purchased this super micro server and uh, I also wanted to run uh, virtual machines on it so I plan to install EXSI first and then uh, install TrueNAS as a virtual machine so everything else went well then I was stuck at one point which is the RAID controller uh, co which comes with this server is from Adaptech it doesn't meet trueness requirement so I almost put this server aside for several months without using it and until recently I discovered the trueness scale so let me start from beginning and uh, show you what was the problem now I'm using the uh, RAID controller setting user interface uh, which you can enter during the server rebooting process as you can see I already have 12 NAS hard drives installed uh, no problem here then let's go to the controller setting the most important setting is the last one the controller mode so by default it's hardware RAID mode we all know uh, TrueNAS doesn't like hardware RAID it wants control so it needs to do the software RAID so that's why <coughs> okay I thought HBA is exactly for that uh, purpose right okay let me switch to HBA then let's see what's happening in the uh, TrueNAS side okay I already rebooted the super micro server now I'm in the EXXI admin user interface I go to host manage then go to hardware and I'm trying to find the RAID controller yes here it is Adaptech RAID controller and as you can see here the pass through is already uh, active because I uh, just uh, changed it uh, this way but by default it's uh, disabled uh, it's inactive so basically you need to click this button to toggle pass through and then you need to reboot the uh, uh, EXXI then it will pass through then you can see this P PCI card in your virtual machine configuration uh, because it's already active <coughs> now let me go to my virtual machine uh, let me go to the TrueNAS core so now I don't have that uh, RAID uh, controller card <coughs> here let me add it I select add other device PCI device see here the <coughs> adapt tag card is automatically selected and I click Save that's it so after this I expect TrueNAS will recognize all my 12 hard drives because I already set my RAID controller in HBA mode I already set in EXSI to allow all the hard drives to pass through right so it seems everything's ready so then let's boot the uh, TrueNAS let's see what will happen
Okay, here we go. This is the problem I want to show you. It's it's stuck here. It kept saying root mount waiting for C A M. Then I searched for this error. It turned out it's because yes, I set my RAID controller card to HBA mode, but that's not enough. So the trueness requires the card to be cross flashed to IT mode. Unfortunately, this particular card uh, comes with a super micro server. It doesn't support the uh, RSI IT mode, so I can I cannot uh, reflash it. Then basically, I have no way to run TrueNAS on it. It's such a shame. After the initial failure to install TrueNAS on my Super Micro Server, I also tried Unraid. And Unraid is Linux based, of course, it supports my RAID card. Of course, it supports the HBA code, uh, HBA mode, and it, as you can see from the screenshot I took, uh, it recognized all my hard drives, no problem. It ran perfectly, right? But I still didn't want to keep using it. The reason is, as the name suggests, it's not RAID. I have all the 12 NAS uh, hard drives and I have this uh, super cool super micro server. I do want to run my NAS in RAID mode, right? So yes, RAID uh, works in my scenario, but it's not uh, really what I want. Okay, now let's talk about the surprising good news, TrueNAS scale. So because, uh, because my super micro server cannot run the original TrueNAS, then the majority of its functionality, the storage thing, the 12-bay uh, hard drive, all the features are just wasted. So I simply use it to run EXSI using a uh, SSD uh, drive. So it's such a waste. I still want to run the, 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 the TrueNAS server on it. I still want to use the 12 NAS drive, which I already installed, right? So one day I heard the amazing good news about a Linux-based TrueNAS. Apparently, uh, TrueNAS call it TrueNAS Scale, and if you visit the web page, it has many uh, shining good features, but to be honest, I don't care. The only thing I'm interested in is it's Linux-based. Uh, you know the original TrueNAS is based on a free BSD. Yes, it's super stable. Yes, uh, it ran great, but a apparent shortcoming is free BSD is not as widely supported as Linux, which means it doesn't support all the hardwares. Yes, I know many people will argue how good the so-called LSI IT mode is and why TrueNAS requires it, right? But honestly, I believe the real reason it cannot, uh, my Super Micro cannot run the original TrueNAS is simply because FreeBSD doesn't have a good support for my uh, RAID controller card. That's it. That's the root cause, right? Let's be honest. So, but we, I know my uh, RAID card works fine under Linux. So, once I heard the news about TrueNAS scale, I cannot wait 
I download it, I install it, you know what? It runs perfectly on the Super Micro server. Uh, let me show you. Uh, one thing, uh, keep in mind, it's still in beta. It's not officially uh, released yet. So, of course, I run it uh, and, uh, just for my own, own uh, home lab. Of course, it's not for production yet. But so far, I already ran it for a month. I haven't seen, observed any issues. It ran perfectly. Uh, let me show you. Now let me go to my EXSI. Let me go to the TrueNAS uh, scale. <coughs> so uh, basically, I don't want to waste your time. Show you the how I set the uh, RAID controller card. How I set the EXSI. Uh, basically, they are the same as what I just show you guys. Uh, nothing's changed, and even in the uh, VMware. Uh, a virtual machine setting it's the same setting you simply add a PCI card for the uh, RAID controller that's it the exact same setting and then I boot it it boot perfectly no problem and then let me go to the web UI uh, show you the storage this is the uh, UI admin UI for the TrueNAS scale. Uh, it's very similar to the so-called TrueNAS core, the original TrueNAS. And yeah, but the, in the left side, the menu items, uh, the uh, TrueNAS rearranged some menu items. Uh, it's not a big deal. And the core functionalities are the same. And of course, uh, the virtualization apps, those are based on Linux, right? So it's, it's different than the uh, FreeBSD counterpart. That's uh, understandable. Uh, but I want to focus on the storage part. Uh, let me go to storage, go to disks. Okay, as you can see, it lists all of my uh, 12 hard drives, no problem. So basically, it's the exact same hardware setting, exact same EXXI setting, and the TrueNAS scale, which is based on Linux, it works perfectly. It recognized my card, and it recon recognized my uh, 12 uh, hard drives, and I don't see any issues and it runs perfectly and uh, I can even show you the uh, right read performance uh, because I have other uh, TrueNAS core, the FreeBSD based TrueNAS uh, installation at my home. I compare the performance, uh, it's, it's, it's the same. I don't see any performance difference whatsoever. I'm using a uh, disk speed testing tool on uh, Mac OS. Uh, I know it's not network uh, testing, uh, but just for your information, I'm running on a 10 gigabits uh, Ethernet, uh, so the network speed is not a problem. As you can see, the write speed can be 500 plus uh, megabytes, and the read can be 800 uh, megabytes. So, okay, this is the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me go back to the Super Micro server and continue to use the TrueNAS. Okay, thank you.